Hello, keep watching so I can show you how to get this look. Of course, my hubby had to make his cameo. I start off with Too Faced Shadow Primer. Then I use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Tape is seriously the easiest way to get a clean eye. Of course, I'm using my favorite palette. Using my Sigma E25 brush to blend in Rebel. Keep on blending. Now I'm going to use my Sigma E45 to blend Leader. I focus on that little V in the corner there. Using my Sigma E35 to blend in Funny Girl, but first I wet it with my MAC Fix Plus. Back to my E45 Sigma brush, but this time blending in some Activist. Going to eliminate any harsh lines with my Sigma E25 brush. No clue what this eyeliner is called. I got it in my Ipsy, but I use it to tight line. Curl your lashes. NYC Ultra Black Liquid Liner. Start off first in my corners. And then slowly but surely start making my way through. Um, you'll have like a little empty triangle and then fill it in. Now for the fleekness of the eyeliner once that tape is removed. Sometimes you'll have a little eyeliner slip through the tape. It's okay, clean it up. Love, 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 Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And of course, gotta love a beautiful pair of lashes. These are Demi Wispies by Ardell, my favorite. They come in huge packs and for cheap. The easiest, most precise, and mess-free eyelash glue that you will ever use. Don't apply right away. Let it dry just a little bit. I like to start off in the corners. It's a lot easier, and then I just keep pressing and pressing until I feel like they're super stuck on me. Because I usually use a liquid lipstick, I like to exfoliate and moisturize my lips before I start the rest of my face. I prime my face with Benefits Professional. No foundation today, it's really hot out. Um, I prefer my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in Bisque. I apply it using my Sigma F80 brush and just blend, blend, blend in circles all over. Color correcting any redness with Naked's Urban Decay Color Corrector in green. This corrector is amazing. It's the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Look at it, look at it! And because these Puerto Rican ojeras be doing the absolute most, I also correct with Urban Decay's color corrector in peach. Sigma P80 to blend all of that that I just put under there. But wait, there's more. Then I use Urban Decay's Naked Concealer in Night Light Neutral. It also works for a good highlight. I like my nose and my teeny tiny forehead, my lips, my cheek. Wet your blender ball and blend, blend, blend. This is probably my favorite part, just to see like how my eyes lift.
Just under my under eyes, I use Ben Nye's Pretty in Pink to set it. And Laura Mercier for the rest of my face. Can you tell I love to contour? It's skinny face time. I use my Real Techniques flat foundation brush and my Laura Mercier contour cream kit. Bring up those cheekbones, then contour that chin. Getting my Kylie on, then thinning out that nose and shortening it as well. Using my Sigma F57 to blend out that contour. And then my beauty blender for the rest of the face. Then I use my ABH contour palette to set my contour. It's unbelievable that I only came across this bronzer like two months ago. I don't know what I've been doing with that in my entire life. I love it. The Hula Bronzer. MAC Peaches with my Morphe Contour Blush Brush. I love a sharp contour, so I always use my translucent powder to line up under my contour and pretty much sharpen it up. Then whatever's left, I use it on the rest of my face, but only a little bit, otherwise it gets too cakey. For my brows, I use ABH Browways in Chocolate. Try to do brush strokes, like if you're like feathering your hair in, instead of filling it in, just it looks a lot more natural. After I'm done baking, I take a Sigma F30 brush and any excess powder, I just blend it into my face. My 
favorite part ever is to highlight. I usually grab my Sephora fan brush, wet it with my MAC Fix Plus, and get to glowing. After I'm done highlighting, I set my brows. I don't do it before just because those little highlight flecks like to get in there and then I got some flaky highlighty as eyebrows. No thank you. Using my Sigma E20, I apply Rebel under my waterline to give it a smoky effect. NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk for my waterline. Then I use another NYX one that's a lot closer to my skin tone. Too Faced Better Than Sex again, this time for my bottom lashes. A clean mascara wand to elongate and separate even more. Of course, you gotta use Urban Decay's Makeup Setting Spray just in case he wants to take you into the pool. Last step, some gloss. I am using Tardiest Lip Paint in Snap. My summer go-to actually, it's been my favorite lately. Here's the final look again. Thanks for watching, please come again. Oh, and stay for the bloopers. Lord knows this video was the devil to make, so I have tons of bloopers. Yeah.